engineers typically don't become experts in quantum. And that's changing. Duke has a history of having a huge impact in certain fields. Quantum computing is one of them. It allows us at least to think about problems that have an uncountable number of pathways or configurations. And unfortunately, this has led many people to think it's sort of a mystic theory. The good news is, whether you accept it or not, it's here. We actually build fully blown quantum computers here, and we use them for research and tie them to applications. The Duke Quantum Center is sort of at the nexus of the science and engineering colleges at Duke. We're actually located in downtown Durham in an old tobacco warehouse. I sort of like it because we're not a company, but it sort of has a feel of something more than just a university. It's almost like a national laboratory. We're trying to make very high level controllers where users can come in and run quantum applications, quantum algorithms on our machines, and they don't have to know anything about atoms or lasers. That's what the Duke Quantum Center is. We're, in a sense, a scientific user facility. We have several generations, several different quantum computer systems in this building, and they all have different capabilities. They're research systems. We have students and postdocs that run them, but we also have visitors and big collaborations with others throughout the world that run applications on our systems here at the Duke Quantum Center. Many other institutes are doing the fundamental physics of how to build a quantum bit. It's very interesting and very important. We're beyond that. We have by far the deepest bench in uh, trapped ion quantum computer systems at any laboratory or university in the world. We do uh, work with our quantum bits, these individual atoms, but we're building much higher level engineered software and hardware engineered systems around a very capable, the highest performing quantum system known. What I don't know what's around the corner is exactly how these machines will be used in the future. I do have a feeling once we find a killer app that creates commercial value, then all the cards are gonna fall. It's going to hit almost every sector of the economy.